Crusader fans, and welcome to the last edition of the Crusader Sports Weekly Review for this semester. I'm your host, Leah Ward, and this is what's happening in Crusader Sports. The school year is winding down, as well as the Crusader Sports. Both the men's and women's tennis teams have concluded their 2009 regular season. The teams capped off the season with wins over Lenore Ryan with scores of 9-0 and 5-0. Both teams also concluded the season with two winning matches. Both teams also ended the season winning two matches each. The next step for the ladies tennis team is a trip to the NCCAA Regional Tournament. However, the men's team waits to determine their future plan. The baseball team finished off its 2009 season winning two out of its last three games. Senior Devin Vance finished off his career as a Crusader with a 9-1 victory over Atlanta Christian. The baseball team would finish their season off with a doubleheader against Emmanuel College. Emmanuel College would take the first game 9-7 in extra innings, but the Crusaders would cap off the 2009 season with a 6-2 victory, taking the second game of the year's last doubleheader. On April 19th, the Lady Crusaders softball team would travel to Franklin Springs, Georgia for the NCCAA South Regional Tournament. The Lady Crusaders would play four games in one day, losing the first game to tournament host Emmanuel College, then going on to win the next two consecutive games to go on and play in the championship. The Lady Crusaders would go on to play Shawan University, who they had beaten in the previous game 13-7. The championship game would be a lot closer, however, taking eight innings to decide the winner. Shawan would go on to win the game 1-0, despite the great pitching performance from freshman Taylor Roof, who posted 11 strikeouts. The Crusader football team finished off its first spring practice under new head coach Jamie Chadwell on Saturday at the annual spring game at Yount Stadium. The offense won the game handily, however, the game was not what the fans expected. In the second half of the game, coach Chadwell handed the play calling off to the fans for small donations for the team. This made the game more fun and entertaining for everyone who was there. Hey, Coach Staggs here, coaching linebackers. Most improved linebacker this spring, Cody Black. Also, to make the game more entertaining, Coach Chad will stalk the sidelines dressed as legendary Alabama head coach Bear Bryant.
said that he wanted to make the game fun for all the fans, but still maintain an all-business attitude with the players. He also said that he was a little frustrated with the number of turnovers, but that the team will continue to work on the problem throughout the summer. Well, folks, that concludes this week's edition of your Crusader Sports Weekly Review. And from everyone here in North Greenville, please have a safe and relaxing summer. I'm your host, Leah Ward. Thanks for stopping by, and stay classy. Thank you.